option. So it's okay. We are going to learn. I hope you have a cotton also with you. We need a very small amount of a cotton. We don't need much. We need to understand the process called as we have learned ginning. Then we need to understand how to make a fiber that is spinning process. Then we are going to learn the uh, weaving process. So what do we have learned in the ginning process? So ginning is basically in the process what we have that when you have taken a cotton, in the cotton you have seeds which are present. So there are tiny black color seeds which are present inside the cotton, and those tiny seeds we need to remove from the cotton. So can you see any uh, seeds currently inside it? No, miss. So these seeds are properly hidden inside the cotton. So when you have plucked the cotton out. from the plant we have to separate those seeds properly so how do we do that so this process is called ginning the ginning process you can do in two different ways point number 1 that you can use your hands okay so when i'm using my hand what we are doing we are separating them layer by layer like this one first layer moves out second layer moves out third layer moves out and then we are moving another layer so as i can see there is a seed in between a black color seed is it visible properly what they do they take this seed and keep it separately and keep the fiber like this one so you are getting a proper fiber now we have a second way what is the second way that we have learned with a ginning machine right so what was the ginning machine ginning machine has a pluck like this one and through which what they are doing they are passing them so what the ginning machine is doing it is taking that cotton and moving it up like this so you can see the seeds are separated and fall here while the cotton will fall from the back so that's how they separate the seeds so it entirely depends upon that if you wanted to separate a very small amount of a cotton you can use your hand if you wanted to separate a very large amount of cotton then in that case we use the ginning machine so at what time do we take this seeds and uh, put it in the soil they are actually put it uh, or they are actually put it in the soil when you have the um, spring season in the summer they will grow up in the month of june you actually reap them now you have separated the cotton from the seeds so the seeds are separated out which i can use for the further cultivation now i wanted my cotton how to make a fiber out of it as it is very rough i cannot make anything out of it so what they have done they combed it properly so they take it they combed it so that you can get each and every fiber clearly as they are not stuck to each other if there is any kind of blurs blurs basically means see this one like this small small tiny holes like this one these kinds of blurs are also removed out so in that case they will not create lumps in your fiber now after combing the process now my next process is to create a thread out of it see thread portion is not in ncrt it's only for your uh, olympiad paper if you are preparing for it so what will happen here here i have to do a simple process which we called as twist and turn so this is called spinning so i have to spin them together spin them spin them spin them together so what we are doing we have taken a one edge and then we are spinning it together spin again spin again spin spin keep on spinning it so that's how from a fiber you create a thread so i can make as long as thread i want now see i was making this thread manually right so from some portion this thread is very uh, thick some portion it is light so what we do we use spinning spindles or we have charkha or we have spinning machines which we can use to make the fiber as these fibers which are created as this is a thick one so you have a very small thin fiber so you take a uh, 3 4 5 like threads together and then you will just combine them together and it will look like this so now here what do i have is a thread see this now in this single thread 
there are more than 10 five fibers which are spin together now why, why do we do that why i am not using a single fiber why i am taking three four fibers and making a thread so that it will have a strength now see this is very light i can easily break it but this is strong i can't break it like this did i try my best hold break it is also not that strong but it was quite strong initially and then what you are doing when you take this thread and spin it on any support so this is a support of a uh, cardboard you can have a support of a plastic you can take support of anything like i can roll that on the uh, pen also so when i am rolling that and creating a lump like this so this is called yarn so this is my yarn here so this is fiber it is thread then yarn now after this when you have created a thread now you have to make a fabric out of it now as i told you to bring the paper strips and this uh, wire is very thin so i can't show you so i'm taking a paper strip consider my paper strip as a wire a uh, thread so this is my first thread now we have a two process to create a fabric i am sure going to show you both so the first is weaving so in the weaving process what will happen you will take a fiber like this and then you take another fiber like this and place them all together in a same angle fiber number 1 fiber number 2 fiber number 3 fiber number 4 that why we have the a uh, proper weaving machine so that it's the machine has a spin like this one a holder which hold them together in a proper way so they will not run here and there so one thread is put vertical or horizontally this is horizontally now you take a second thread and what you are doing you are taking it vertically like this one so i'll take this i'll take the vertical one so i'll go with up and down motions here like this and stretch it to the point similarly i'll take another which is again a vertical one as i have kept everything horizontal so it has to be 90 degree angle apart from each other now i am taking the second strip again 90 degree angle apart like this and moving it here again closing it together again we are taking in another strips and putting it vertically again which is 90 degree angle from the initial one which are settled there and then moving them all together like this can you see that with the strips i have created a close area here so that's how the fiber is created by using the fabric so that's how we do the weaving process now we need to understand the knitting process in the knitting process i use a single thread and a single thread what we are doing we are knotting them together like this so i am taking the single thread and i am knotting it so it's my first knot okay leaving a space in between then i am creating a second knot so knot is created as i have created very long distance apart knots are very small small gap to each other now what they are doing a very long thread it is here so they take this one and again create a knot from here so again i am creating a knot so you have one knot now you will be having second knots like this again second third fourth and you can create in numerous knots here then again you can take another one and create another knot from here is it clear so for knitting i need a very long and a single thread 
I can mix with the color. So instead of taking this, I can take another color in between. That I need to be very specific where I need to put a knot and end. So this is called knitting process. Thank you.